Ongoing coyote encounters have residents asking the city of Mobile to take more aggressive action to solve the problem. Yeah, Fox News Lee Peck in studio with us right now. He's been on top of this story. Lee, the people you talk to want the city to trap, then remove the coyotes. Well, they do, Byron and Lenise. They say most of the coyote packs are believed to be living on city owned wooded properties. And as it stands now, the city only required to act when residents submit video evidence of aggressive coyotes. It's been an issue for a couple of years, and residents in the Spring Valley subdivision say coyote sightings have only gotten worse. The coyotes were using my yard, crossing my patio, even though well lit with the drapes open, they could physically see me, but they were not showing any fear and felt free traveling through my yard. Not long after Jacob Blasius joined Coyote Watch, the next door app group that's nearly 550 members strong, alerting neighbors through videos, pictures, and even maps documenting more than 115 sightings, mostly in Spring Valley and the Spring Hill area. And not all of those sightings have been at night. Been noticing that the numbers have been increasing as they continue to breed. The existing ordinance we don't feel is sufficient because we want preventive measures taken. We want to prevent future attacks. Going before Mobile City Council Tuesday, Blasius spelled out their proposal, asking the city to update its ordinance, requiring them to trap all coyotes, not just the aggressive ones. They have to be trapped and exterminated one pack at a time. You cannot just deal with an aggressive coyote that might be an alpha male or alpha female. The alpha males and alpha females discourage the other members of the pack from breeding, which means if you kill off the alpha male and the alpha female, you have to kill off the rest of the pack to prevent the rest of the pack from creating a population explosion. The group believes the longer the city waits to act, the more costly it will be. Obviously, the real fear is not so much that we've had attacks already. It's that as the number of coyotes within the city of Mobile are breeding and multiplying and spreading throughout more neighborhoods, the potential for an attack on pets and humans will multiply by a significant degree. And the group tells me they're optimistic the city will work with them, but says if they don't move on it, they'll not only petition, but are prepared to make this an election issue. Live tonight in studio, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.